In this video, we would see what is a bear repository in Git and what is the use of bear repositories and we will also see whether we use them in day to day Git activities. So, what is a Git bear repository? The bear repository is a repository which can be used for collaboration among multiple developers. So, like normal Git repositories, we cannot perform the operations like git add, git commit, etc. in these repositories. But these repositories can be used as the shared repositories among multiple developers. So now let us see how can we create a bare repository and how can we use these bare repositories for collaboration among multiple developers. Let us start. So I have opened a terminal here. Before creating the bare repository, let us create a normal repository. So for that, I'll create a directory here. So let me go inside this directory. So now we are in this directory. So for creating a normal repository, either we can use git init command or git clone command. So let me use git init command here. So let us enter. So now it has initialized an empty git repository. So if we verify the contents of this directory, here we can see that there is a dot git directory. So this dot git directory will allow us to do all the local operations here like adding the files, committing the files, etc. So if you see the content here, so these are the contents of .git directory. So let me go back to the previous directory. So now let us try to add a file here. So I will create a test file here. I will add this file to the git repository using git add command. So now we have added the file. So we can verify the status. So this is a new file. We need to commit this file. So let me commit. So the file is committed. So this way we can do the development operations like adding a file or committing a file to the repository if it has the dot git directory. So that means for the normal repositories, we have the dot git directory which allows us to do all these development activities. So now let us create a bare repository. For that, I'll go back to the previous directory. So here I'll create a new directory. So we'll go inside this directory. So in this directory, we will initialize a new bare repository using git init command. So for bare repository, we have to provide the bare option. So let us enter. This has initialized an empty git repository in this directory. So let us verify the contents of this directory. So here we can see we don't have a separate dot git directory. So we have the contents of the dot git directory here. So that means we cannot do any development activities here. So let us try adding a file here using git add command. So for that let me create a test file here. So let us add this file. So now it is saying this operation must be run in a work tree. So we don't have a work tree here because we don't have a dot git directory. So this is about their repository. This does not contain dot git directory, which in turn will not allow us to perform development activities like git add, git commit, etc. So then what is the use of bare repositories? The bare repositories are useful for collaborating among multiple collaborators or developers. So when developers want to contribute data to these repositories, they have to perform operations like git push. So now let us see how we can use this bare repository as a shared repository. So this is the location of the bare repository. So let me go back and I'll create a new directory here. So I'll go inside this directory. So now I want to use the bare repository. So for that what I will do, I will clone this bare repository in this directory. So for that I will use git clone command and I have to provide the path of this bare repository. So now it has cloned into this directory. So we can verify that. So now we have test repository here. Let me go inside this. Let us verify the contents of this directory. So now we have dot git directory inside this test repo too. So that means when we clone a bare repository, we will have the dot git directory in our local directory. So this means in this local directory, we can perform operations like git add, git commit, etc. So let me add a new file here. 
So let us execute git add command here. So now this file is added. So let us commit the file now. So the file is committed. So now we have the file which is committed to the local repository. So now I want to push this content to the bare repository from which we have cloned. So for that I need to use git push command. So here we can see that the content is pushed to the bare repository. So this way we have to execute commands like git push, git pull, git fetch. So when we want to contribute the data to the bare repositories or shared repositories. Similarly, multiple developers can clone a bare repository and they can add the content and commit the content to the local repository. And then finally, they will push the repository contents to the parent or bare repository. So this is how the bare repositories can be used as the shared repositories or collaborative repositories. So now the question is, do we create these bare repositories on day-to-day -day activities? The answer for this question is yes, because when we create repositories in the servers like GitHub, GitLab, Atlassian, Bitbucket, etc., the repositories which are created are of bare repositories. So those repositories will be used as the shared repositories for collaboration among various developers. So then each developer will clone corresponding bare repository to the local machine and they develop their content, they add the content. So finally they will push the content to the remote bare repositories. So this is the application of bare repositories. I hope this video will help you. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.